Uh, we'll head to Manchester because United have made their third major signing of the summer with the arrival of Nemanja Matic from Chelsea to the surprise of very few. Uh, the Serbian midfielder believed to have cost United in the region £40 million and he joins Romelu Lukaku and centre-half Victor Lindelof at Old Trafford for the forthcoming season. How's this going to work out Matic there as well? So I, I, it, just to jolt people's memory, for a large part of last season you had Pogba and Herrera yeah. as the two or you had Carrick coming in yeah. never really suited Pogba Fellaini as well throwing Fellaini in the mix as well, as well. But so, so let, let's just say for a second Matic is 100% one of those sitting midfielders that yeah. pair like is Pogba alongside him is this a move to try and push Pogba further up the pitch in a permanent way yeah I, I, and how he, how he I, I felt he got the best out of Pogba last season was, was certainly playing with the three in midfield but the three with a, a with a sitter, one sitting and two ahead of him, and a three where Pogba was given a bit more license yeah. to get for trying to get him into the games more, which it, it didn't really across yeah. the whole season didn't have a big influence, huge influential season. So Pogba doesn't see danger when he's asked yeah. to be one of the two. Seat- he, go, he goes rogue, and Per Herrera is left. Yeah, two or three. That's players. it. It might help Herrera. I think this this move is perfect for Pogba. I really do think it's perfect one for Pogba because I think it's 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 the it's the right player that's going to complement Pogba's style. Yeah. And I think he knows he's probably recognised that Mourinho traditionally he's always had that type of player in his side that's got with that discipline play. Forget mm. the influence that he had on um, the Chelsea side. Was it with three seasons ago now when when uh, when Mourinho first went in? Oh, sorry, in his uh, second spell, second first, spell, first yeah. went in for the second spell. The influence that he had over the side when they won the Premier League that season. So he he it was complemented so well alongside. Um, Cesc Fabregas in that side so I, th- I think it's certainly the, the right type of signing they need it looks to me like Fellaini I mentioned Fellaini that Fellaini could be on the way because he's been linked with the move away Turkey. I think to Turkey yeah. this week wasn't yeah. he so that so wouldn't surprise me if that happened Are you surprised Chelsea have let Madrid go to Manchester United? Totally and that, was, that, that's the, that is the biggest factor from this it, it, we look at signings over the last few seasons that have well one in particular that was stuck to my mind was uh, Van Persie going into United you know, continuously through the the whole process of that transfer going through, uh, Wenger saying he's not for sale. We can't be we can't be helping out a direct opponent. Forty million doesn't seem a lot with what's been spent this summer, and Chelsea are aiding a direct opponent. It doesn't make sense to me from Chelsea's point of view. There's possibly a double bluff involved in this as well when you consider that Matic wasn't necessarily a direct starter for Chelsea towards the end of last season in particular his form wasn't what it had been the year previously or two years previously ah, but that was only the last month no, no Matic was brilliant last season alongside um, Kante he was brilliant it was only the last couple of months of the season when it was almost as if the league was won but at that stage but they've signed Bakayoko from, from Monaco who's yeah. in a similar position they already as you mentioned have Kante in there too they're probably figuring if we can get 40 million for Nemanja Matic at the age he's at take it yeah I, 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 there's, there's an argument that yes but why would you sell to a direct direct opponent at, at this stage of the season the, uh, sorry this stage of his career at this stage of maybe Antonio Conte's career as well he must have that in the back of yeah, his I mind know, strange. this could come back yeah. to bite us yeah it's, I mean, it's just generally a, a policy you take for granted you don't sell to yeah. one of your immediate rivals unless they just see Manchester United as so beneath them at this stage though I, I don't see how they can think that 